you want to get We've decoded the disk that the Major brought back with her. It contained the blueprints for a mass retaliation weapon, codenamed V2. A far more powerful weapon than the two tactical nukes that the Belt had used in the last war. It was never fully developed at the time, but it appears that they've secretly completed its construction in the 15 years since the war. The V2 is a MERV missile. It can wipe out half of all the large cities in either Osea or Yuktavanya. So where would they deploy it? It had to be in the Seoul, which was also secretly completed and is now operational. After all, it was built to function as an orbital platform for such weapons in the first place. The Seoul itself is unmanned, and was controlled from the ground, but we didn't know where. Then, the intelligence vessel Andromeda tracked down the origin of Shantse's transmissions to the Arkbird. It's in the former South Belka, a state entrusted to Ocean rule, and now called North Ocean. To be more precise, the transmissions originated from an experimental facility owned by Grunder Industries, a manufacturer of the weapons we use. The president of Grunder has sworn allegiance to Ocean, but in truth, he was a secret member of the Grey Man. Under the guise of their experimental facility, they are actually digging a gigantic tunnel under the mountain range that runs along the border dividing North and South Belka. Their ultimate goal is to reunite the two Belkas. And in that tunnel... The Kestrel just took a missile hit. Enemy unknown. We can't identify it in time. Additional missile approaching. Rosgris, launch immediately and gain altitude to escape. Hey. should I use? We're launching with this formation. Ross Grease, launch! Concentrate on launching them. All hands not conducting aircraft launch, abandon ship immediately. We're getting you guys into the air no matter what. I don't care what happens to the catapult. Aircraft launch confirmed. Catapult crew will now evacuate the ship. Time again, but now I finally won. 
Huh? Look, we launched them off safely. There's my victory. As long as they're in the air, I haven't lost. And I know they'll succeed. Yeah. The captain was humming a tune. The same song I heard from the anti-war audience in the stadium. He was the one playing that record in the middle of a sea battle. This is President Harlan of the Ocean Federation. Attention, all Ocean and Yuktobanian officers and soldiers currently on the battlefield. Let us put down our guns and come out of the trenches. The Ocean capital of Alred has been freed of the people who took advantage of my absence to usurp control of the country. Once robbed of my freedom and of my ability to do the right thing, I now stand again under the light of the Golden Sun. And I do so with the Honorable Utobanian Prime Minister Nicanor by my side. We have resolved our terrible and unfortunate misunderstandings, and the war is now over. This is Prime Minister Nicanor. Head of Government for the Union of Yuktobanian Republics. Attention all officers and soldiers of Osia and Yuktobania currently on the battlefield. Please watch as President Harling and I stand shoulder to shoulder, hand in hand. President Harling's words are true. The war is over, but there is one more battle that still needs to be fought. We believe that those who have tried to stir hatred between us are now preparing a weapon that could wipe out half of all metropolitan areas in either one of our countries. Our comrades are in flight as I speak, determined to stop this plan dead in its tracks. Which country is under the threat of mass destruction? That we do not know. However, that is no longer important. No matter which country is hit, it would be a severe blow to all of us. So now I ask you, members of the military, if you see it in your hearts, please utilize the resources available to you and help out our brave pilots. Right now they are flying east to meet the enemy. To those who still dare to hide behind the power of their hateful weapons, bring yourself before the light of peace and harmony. Attack the Solg control system located in a giant tunnel under the Valdrak Mountains. 
The tunnel entrance is located at the foot of the mountains and the entire area is covered by mountains and waterways. First, an armored force will try to move in from the town to infiltrate the wharf where the entrance to the control system is located. There are several enemy defense positions built along the path that the armored force will take, so air support will be vital for their invasion. Meanwhile, a helicopter formation will attack the control system entrance and capture the nearby area. We're also expecting the helicopters to face anti-air resistance, so we'll need support to put down enemy fire around the entrance. Your squadron's mission is to protect the armored force and clear out a landing area for the Helleborn fleet. Once both units capture the facility entrance, a special forces team will open up the shutter blocking the way inside. Go through the open entrance and destroy the Solg control system from the inside. Eli taas, täytyy sotia sota muiden puolesta. Burger Industries has detected your approach and they're asking for help. A warmonger still left in both Osia and Yudavania. So they hand over the third B1 tactical nuke in exchange. They're hiding the more powerful B2 from them. Now listen. We're going to be sending out fighter jets. This is the sky that will determine our fate. We've got to win this battle and bring back peace. As the commander in chief of the Ocean Army, I hereby order all units to lower their weapons and cease fighting. Don't worry about the human fighters. Get the war dog ghosts. Follow me, and we're going to bring them to all wars once and for all. Look at them! Like a bunch of dogs from hell! Damn it! 
We've come across a blueprint of the tunnel facility on the Major's disc. The Soul control system is in the deepest part of the tunnel. We can't touch it from the entrance. Fly into the tunnel, attack the control system in the deepest part of the complex, and escape out the tunnel exit on the opposite side. This is extremely dangerous, but there's no other way to do this. There are two central components to the control system. You must destroy them both, but you can only destroy one of them per attack run. Furthermore, the ground forces will not be able to keep the entrance shutters open for very long. There's not enough time for you to go back into the tunnel again after the first run. So, a separate plane will have to go in from the other side at the same time. <laughs> we have only one chance. Synchronize your run with the second plane to attack both components simultaneously and destroy the Sol control system.
Ei! Mihin me voin törmäällä näin tuota viimeisessä vaiheessa? Ei, hyvää päivää. Sitä mennään, pitää mennä näistä torneista ilmeisesti läpi. Eternity later. Emergency transmission from Central. Super ase on vielä vielä kierto radalla se pitää tuhota. The Solg's descent was detected by our radar at 0445 hours. We believe it was programmed to automatically descend if control was ever cut off from the surface. We have calculated the Solg's course of descent from its previous orbit. Its estimated landing point is downtown Aurel, the capital of Osia. No, no. Get to the Solg's descent point as quickly as possible and destroy it before it hits Aurel. You must complete the mission and come back alive. Anything less is not acceptable. Rosgris, we wish you the best of luck. Launch. Your final sortie. It's almost kind of sad, huh? All right, launch preparations complete. Yeah, the other no stuff. This is Okanieva. Hurry to the target area. The later you get there, the less time you'll have to attack the Sorg. I wish me Zaga. The Sorg will descend to a vulnerable altitude in five minutes. The Sorg is falling! We have to get to the Sorg! Fast! Captain! Blaze! Blaze! Roger! Archer! Engaging! Roger! Swordsman! Engaging! Roger! Edge! Engaging!
restore the pride we had 15 years ago. Ei oikein ole aikaa tapella. Easily. 
attacking us, and the lives of so many more in front of us! reveals itself, first as a dark demon. As a demon, it uses its power to rain death upon the land, and then it dies. However, after a period of slumber, Lazgris returns, this time as a great hero. Tosiaan, tämä ei ole ensimmäinen kerta, kun mä oon pelannut tätä näin, mutta tämä oli yhtä, yhtä ahdistavaa kuin muistankin. Peace has once again spread across the world. The aces of Rosgris never flew in the skies of battle again. Above the clouds, there was only a clear blue sky, no longer in need of heroes. And perhaps, that's exactly what they were hoping for, all this time. But the Ace Combat 7 is going to be taken here. Yes, this is a very beautiful lentoreiskin. This is the third time. Or the second time I've played this. And I've played it in the same places as well. But it's a bad game. Mutta että hyvin tyylikäs peli, ää, sodan vastainen tarina ja, ja niin kun, kuitenkin niin kun, huippuunsa hiottuu pelattavuutta Splekka 2 ajalla tietysti. Nyt tää, tällä kertaa niin emulaattorilla pelattavassa, niin kyllä kaiken kaikkiaan niin yksi mun lempari pele, pelejä. Ei se kompat se, että tämän oli aika kivasti niin kun, teki kunniaa tälle, ää, eli, eli siinä mielessä niin on ihan. Var... Uskallan toivoa, että tulee hyviä iskompat pelejä jatkossakin. Tässä tuli pari huonompaa iskompattia tosiaan välissä. Iskompat 6 on ensimmäinen, mitä mä oon pelannut. Se ei ollut hirveä hyvä, se oli ihan kivaa, mutta 
ei ollut mitenkään ihmeellinen. Ja Infinitya tuli grindattu aika paljon pleikka kolmosella. Se oli ihan hauska, mutta siinä oli outoja tarina, tarina, tota, valintoja tehty. Joten niin kun, tällainen meidän ylimääräinen lähetys tälleen keskiviikkona, niin juuri sen takia, että pääsen pelaamaan Ace ja se päättyy tähän näin. 